welcome to interview questions on statistics so today we are going to see two questions so the first question is what does ancoba stand for so first of all it it's known by analysis of covariance so why why is it called covariance the reason is it includes a continuous variable called covariate so when you compare it with anova anova has just uh, your independent dependent variables and it compares the mean population mean of two groups so it only compares the influence but over here you have another special continuous variable called as covariate so it's the addition of that covariate which is what makes it different from your ANOVA so your covariate basically acts like a control variable that actually influences the independent and dependent variables that you have so we have that covariate with this ANOVA. That's why it's called as ANCOVA here. So ANCOVA is basically like an extension of ANOVA test. So the researchers or the data analysis, the statisticians, they generally look for the main effects. So what is the main effects of independent and dependent variables? So how is it, what are the main effects? And then we also look for the interactions between the independent and dependent variable as well. So this is with respect to your hypothesis testing. So along with that, you have this covariate as a special variable, which is like a factors, like an additional factors, which are affecting the independent and dependent variable basically. So that is your ANCOVA. Now let's look at your next question. What are the main distinctions between ANOVA and ANCOVA? So we are basically trying to see how is it different from your ANOVA, your ANCOVA. So Basically, first of all, your ANCOVA is nothing but ANOVA with the presence of a covariate variable. So ANCOVA still has the functionality of whatever uh, functions we had with ANOVA. So it still has that. But here we have a special variable or a inclusion of something called as covariate variable. So that variable is generally attached to a dependent variable. So we need to see how the independent variable affects your dependent variable along with certain factors. So that factors are in terms of or in form of this covariate variable. So the average or the mean of the dependent variable are also adjusted. So they are also adjusted because of this covariates effects. So they are like additional factors. So whatever the factors they are affecting, according to that, the average or the mean of the dependent variable will also have to be adjusted as well. So that is one of the difference. And another one is, Unlike ANOVA, where you only compare the independent and dependent variables. So we don't have any additional factors. We just look for relation between independent and dependent variable. What are the main factors between them? But on the other hand, your ANCOVA has this covariate variable or it's a continuous variable basically. So it acts like an additional factors which are affecting the independent variable and the dependent variable. So this is where you could say your ANCOVA is actually different from your ANOVA. So to give another example, we can take an example of a medical treatment or let's say if, uh, they are trying to create a new drug. New drug. So obviously for a new drug, they need to take into the factor. Uh, let's say they are trying to check on three groups, three different groups. They're trying to test it on three different groups and they also have a control variable. So control variable is nothing but that covariate variable. Basically, these are like the factors, additional factors. So your ANOVA test just looks for two things, whether the treatment will work or not. So if the treatment will work on the patient or not, that's it. But your ANCOVA looks for additional factors as well, like age, then life history and also genetical, genetical information, etc. So it look for all these kind of additional factors along with if the drug is working or not. So these all factors, these will be your covariates. These are all nothing but your covariate variables there. So they're all attached with your independent variable. So not just looking for factors between independent and dependent, 
we also need to take into the consideration that we have this additional factors as well. So this is only possible with your ANCOVA. Your ANOVA does not uh, have this feature or it does not look for the control variable. We don't have it. So when we add this control variable, that ANOVA basically becomes an ANCOVA test. So this is regarding your ANCOVA.